this may be the best celebrity whiskey I've ever tried. Hey everyone, welcome to Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a Gaming Twist. I'm Clifton and today we're reviewing Brad Paisley's new American Highway Bourbon. So I actually mentioned this a few weeks ago on my podcast, which by the way, if you are not yet listening to, that's where you'll get all the latest breaking video game and whiskey news. Just search Bourbon Bites Podcast wherever you get your podcasts. I've also put a link down below, uh, new episodes every Friday. But this is a collaboration with Bardstown Bourbon Company for a tour aged bourbon. So while on his 2019 tour, Tour, Brad Paisley was followed by a 53 foot semi trailer that traveled the entire tour with them carrying barrels of bourbon. So this truck traveled through over 25 states and over 7,300 miles. And if you know a thing or two about bourbon, you know that it is greatly affected by not just, you know, what's going into the barrel, but how it sits and interacts with the barrel. So this has two factors that I think are really interesting. One, it traveled coast to coast. So that bourbon was all over the place in terms of climate. But not only that, this whiskey was in the back of a semi truck, so you know it sloshed around the entire way there. So there's going to be a lot of interaction with the wood. So I'm really curious to see if that's evident in this whiskey, or is it just a marketing ploy? Of course, that's not all that's in this bottle. It's $100, so you would expect there to be some older whiskey too. Well, you're lucky because there is. Bardstown Bourbon Company blended a three-year-old bourbon, a 13-year-old, and a 15-year-old bourbon into the batch. So it's going to obviously be kind of hard to pick out, you know, what wood influences from the older whiskey and what's from what was in the truck, but I'm just hoping for a pretty solid bourbon because $100 is a pretty significant price point. And I know it's a celebrity whiskey. We always talk about celebrity whiskeys, but could this be the first one that I actually really enjoy? Let's find out. I also want to give a huge shout out to Bardstown Bourbon Company for sending me a sample to review here today. This is 48% ABV, 96 proof. So color wise, there's definitely some older whiskey in here. This is dark. Um, and now we do know the mash bills of the different whiskeys. I'll put a little chart up here. So they don't reveal where they exactly source this whiskey. Um, I would assume that the three year old is probably their own distillate. The 13 year old is most likely Barton and the 15 year, I think it's that mystery mash bill that no one really knows where it came from, um, but there's some guesses. But um, I do know that this high aged bourbon I've liked in other blends from Bardstown Bourbon Company. So I'm really excited to see how it expresses itself here. Y'all know I loved Discovery Series 5. It was one of my favorite whiskeys I've ever bought. Um, um, so this has some of the same elements that that one had in it, um, but it's $100, so it's a little bit cheaper than that bottle. So we'll see if it's worth it. So let's go ahead and give this a nose. Oh, that's got a really nice nose to it. It's it's reminding me a lot of like caramel popcorn. Really nice nutty uh, oakiness there as well. You can tell that that well-aged bourbon is definitely showing up, or it could be, you know, the, <laughs> the semi-truck aged bourbon. I don't know for sure, but it does smell very, very good. It's a good bit toasty too. There's like some toasted vanilla there. Not necessarily spicy, even though I know it is a high rye mash bill. On the nose, it's expressing itself very sweet and very dessert forward. I'm excited to give this a try. So cheers. Nice. 96 proof, you know, that's a little bit lower than what I'm used to from Barstow Bourbon Company. However, this has a lot of depth going on and a lot of complexity. And I think that Bardstown does an excellent job with mixing younger whiskey with older whiskey. They balance each other out really, really nicely. It starts out really nice and sweet. Definitely that younger whiskey is showing itself at the front of the palate. But by mid palate, you can tell it's starting to transition towards those more oaky, those more well-aged bourbon notes. And even those are kind of contrasting flavors. They balance each other out so nicely with this whiskey. This is a very well-blended bourbon. It's a very well-aged bourbon and $100, I think, is an absolute perfect price point for this. So this is a winner in my book. Now, obviously, if you are a Brad Paisley fan, then it's absolutely a must buy. If you're someone like me that may prefer, you know, something a bit higher proof, maybe splurge a bit for the Bardstown Discovery series. That's usually at cast strength. Um, that may be more up your alley, but again, I think it's a solid bourbon and it's a good expression of what Bardstown Bourbon Company does best, and that's blending. Now, this is the first batch that I'm trying here. There's going to be a second batch released in 2022 um, from the Rolling Rick House that actually followed his 2021 tour. So keep an eye out for that, depending on when you're watching this video. If you've had batch two, let me know how it is. But batch one is pretty dang solid. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you've tried this, if you think it's worth the price to you. Are you a Brad Paisley fan? Did that make it a little bit more special? Uh, let me know in the comments below. But until next time, this has been Bourbon Bites. Cheers, and I'll see you next video.